hello there this is rp recording video on 26th march so this is nifty analysis by the way with the help of elliot wave we are going to see the nifty's next move so this is weekly analysis you could say a brief discussion on nifty what is going to happen next as per the elliot wave theory so as you see on my screen i have plotted fibonacci from 7511 towards this level okay so uh, 18604 so when you plot fibonacci on them you get these numbers so the number is 0 0.236 as 15986 and 0 0.382 as 14366 so when there is a consolidated collection or you could say a channel bound correction these numbers come okay so 0 0.236 already has reached so it could be a possible that so uh, it has made a double complex correction wxy okay forget this forget this okay so it has made a wxy correction and it is going to go on the upside so if it breaks this we have to uh, come uh, we have to conclude that nifty has completed correction near 15671 as a double complex correction okay so that is one case but i have a different view I am expecting nifty to go towards this and it to drop on the downside making one more low. It could be 15,300, 500 as well or even this is possible and I, I cannot rule out that case as well. But uh, yeah, so to consider this case there is a reason, this bearish case there is a reason that I am expecting a triple complex correction. Triple complex correction has by the way this as a first correction, this as a second correction and this Z wave as a third correction. So these, this is called as triple complex correction. X by the way are connecting waves to just connect these waves and it is channel bound fall. You can notice that nifty from the top has not felt more than 15-17%. Uh, okay. So this is a consolidated fall. So it does not go deep. That's what you can remember and a fall are good opportunity to accumulate uh, good shares for your long term. So if you have any plans, if it again drops below 15600 there will be an opportunity to grab those shares if you have in already in your list yeah by the way this is not an investment advice this is just an educational video do consult your financial advisor before taking any investment decisions so uh, the reason for z wave consideration is nifty has uh, has not made uh, uh, like nifty has made a fresh low and there is no positive divergence on MACD. so MACD should give a positive divergence like this and price should make a one more low so macd should like if it drops as a z wave on the downside it will make fresh low here like this and there will be a positive divergence most of us are aware of positive divergence i suppose on macd rsi you see a positive divergence negative divergence so here there should be a positive divergence on daily chart that's what i'm expecting hence i'm expecting one more low uh, just below 15671 right so, so that could be anything so once it forms top here we will be able to properly get the levels on the downside we will be able to calculate those levels so let's see first if it drops on the downside from this level then we'll draw the targets for the downside so until then we are going to assume this case and let's analyze what is happening in x wave so x wave going upside right like this so let's analyze this particular move what is happening there so from there again you see here there is a complex correction w x y x x z so this is on lower degree so this is 15 minute chart by the way here i have plotted again elliott waves so this again looks to be a complex correction entirely because the move is sluggish and here there is a negative divergence on macd the price was consolidating since long so uh, what i am expecting is the final upside will be uh, a small upside and it will not be a big upside so 15 uh, 17500 to 680 levels i am expecting so until this level is safe uh, we can assume that it is going for these levels on the upside so that is my view is so 17006 should not be broken otherwise we will consider the bearish case so for now let's analyze this move and see uh, how we are like why we are considering upside so when you check check that move here you see a consolidation okay so here it was a zigzag correction on the upside as a wave and b wave was pretty 
small uh, pretty consolidated wave okay it was trading in a 2.5 like 2.5 days it was trading in a in a small range okay of 17400 to 100 levels so this was the range for nifty so this was a large consolidation and at the end of the consolidation we see here there is an ending diagonal pattern or a falling wedge pattern so this is most promising reversal pattern so when you find out this pattern and there is a back breakout from that pattern be prepared for the reversal okay so you can use this as a stop loss so let's say 17,075 that was the low it has made if this low has not been broken we can expect the upside towards 17,500 to 680 levels so that's what my assumption is so it can it can also happen that it is going up like this it can break again downside but this level is the major safe area for us so 17,006 level should not be broken if it again makes low that's still there's still no problem so uh, here what I'm expecting is these levels to come on the upside so let's take an alternative wave where we will consider what happens if breaks 17,006 levels so if it breaks 17,006 levels we can assume that the x wave is going deeper okay and here we are assuming w x y wave here we were earlier assuming y wave here okay with abc like this but instead of that in this particular wave we are assuming uh, y wave like this completing here and then ebc abc like this it will go on the downside that's what we are assuming so if it breaks 17,006 levels we can expect uh, 16,950 on the downside to 16,820 levels on the downside so this is based on Fibonacci extension by the way it's not visible here but yeah we will plot that once it this level is broken but for you to remember 16,820 can come on the downside and then it can go on the upside as a Z wave that's what we are assuming this case is only valid once it breaks 17,006 levels so until that is safe we can still up assume the upside and the previous cases are valid in that case so hope you understand till this part so let's check the option chain data here so option chain data shows 17,000 is a major support here we have maximum put writers as you can see highest number on the put side is 46.8 lakhs so 17,000 is a major support so this is the put OI actually on this side and this is the call OI on the uh, left side so here uh, 17,000 is a major support uh, so any break below this will again move on the upside so as we are assuming 16,800 is going to come on the downside so if it goes towards this then there is a chance, high chance of bounce above, above uh, again as a Z wave that also we discussed right so so if it goes towards 16,800 be prepared for uh, a sharp reversal okay so that's what this support denotes 17,000 major support denotes so and the, on the upside the resistance major resistance is at 17500 and second major like the most important level is 18000 so 18000 is the first major resistance and this is the second major resistance so as we are assuming on the upside 17500 plus right and 17680 something levels right so we are assuming this level so since 17500 is also second major resistance it can happen that it could go max towards 17680 and and quickly it would drop towards downside okay so that's that can happen as a z wave on the downside right so uh, that's how i look at nifty for next one or two weeks this is how the nifty is looking like so hope you like the analysis if you have any doubts ask in the comments thank you have a great day Bye bye